This conference will now be recorded. Are you able to see my screen? Okay. Yeah, today we are going to discuss on Selenium IDE. So basically, this, yes, if you see here, this is the logo. If you find this logo, this is called Selenium IDE. Basically, Selenium IDE is a add-on. So you can add to your Chrome browser or Mozilla bro browser by simple add-ons. If you search in add-ons, then you can find that. Otherwise. Yes, you can able to add this Chrome. Sorry, you can able to add this add-on to the Chrome or Mozilla anyone. Yes, here you are able to find the Selenium IDE, Google Chrome. Yes. So simply you can able to add here. It's already added to. I already added this IDE to my browser. That's why. I'm, that's why. You, this option is there removed from Chrome. Yes. Okay. So what is the use of Selenium IDE and how we are going to work with this one? Yes. Basically, if you see here, the first one, we as of now in the current market, no one is using Selenium IDE. No one is using Selenium IDE. In coming days, as an automation tester, just we are going to use with Selenium WebDriver only. There is no Selenium IDE in market. Then what is the need of learning? Why we are going through this one? Yes, basically Selenium IDE is the first version of Selenium. By using the Selenium IDE, we can able to understand how Selenium is identifying the elements, how Selenium is doing the actions. So what is the minimum parameters? What is the, what is the mandatory parameters for the Selenium to find a element? Then what is the drawbacks of Selenium ID? Why why we are moving to the Selenium web drive? Yes. So basically, Selenium ID is a tool which is can able to record the actions what we did. It will so by using the Selenium ID, we can capable to record the actions what we did on this particular browser and at the same time we can able to play back the same recording what we recorded here yes whenever you click on this particular add-on selenium ide add-on it it will ask for this, uh, it will ask for these things record a new text in a new project open an existing project create a new project close selenium ide it's recording new test in new project then obviously we have to give the project name just I'm entering the project name as demo one two three one two three two. It's yes, obviously yes. Whenever we are creating the project, it will ask on which browser. Sorry, on which URL? On which URL you are going to automate or record? Going to record the actions. Yes, I just I want to record the actions what I did on this particular URL. Yes. Start recording. Yes, it's opened a separate window and it's opened this particular URL also. This is a URL which I given at starting to the web driver ID, sorry, Selenium ID. Yes, if you scroll down, you can able to find some text boxes here. Yeah, about me, first name, last name, gender, year of experience, everything is here. Just I'm typing.
Yes, I hear from this drop down. Yes, I'm selecting this Asia. That's it. Here, just I want to stop the recording. Then I open this particular thing. Yes, this is a bro. This is the Selenium IDE window. So whenever we have opened the Selenium IDE window, it's in this particular stop. This particular recording button is highlighted. Means the recording is started. So now I have to stop this recording. Yes. Well. Now it's asking for the test name. So it's it's taking it as a test and it's asking name for that one to store. Test underscore one. Yes, I'm passing this name. Let's see. Yes. So if you observe here, it's recorded multiple things. Yes. Initially, it has opened this browser. So here is command, target, and value. So what are the, these three different columns? Command is nothing but the action. So just we need some actions, right? So we, we are entering the URL, that one is open. Then while if you see here, initially that window is open in a small format, just I want to maximize that. That's why I click here at the type. That's why it's maximizing to this particular area. Maximizing this particular dimensions. That's why that action is called window size, set window size. Then scroll to. Just I scroll down to find that particular element that's why I scroll it down to this particular format. X zero comma one thousand three forty six. What is these things? Zero is nothing but coordinate, x coordinate and y coordinate. I'm not scrolling anything from left to left or right. Just I'm scrolling down only. Means that's why x coordinate zero here, y coordinate is one thousand three forty six. These all of the things recorded automatically. We are not generating anything here. No need to write also. Then I did some action on the first drop, first text box. The text box is called this. Yes. yes, on first text box, I I entered something like Vivek. Yes, so that's why before that, before writing the Vivek, just I mouse over and clicked here to move that move my mouse cursor to this particular text box. So initially that one is a click action. Click here, click. Name equal to first name. Yes, what is meant by name equal to first name and what is meant by target? Yes, Selenium IDE is recording the action what you did, but here it's recording on three different condition what is the command what is the action you did yes here initially I, I before that initially i moved my mouse cursor to here first name and i clicked here to mouse over on this particular thing yes yes so that's with click action then i did click action where i did that's why that one is target is nothing but address in on which address exactly where on which element I did this action. Uh, Selenium IDE is storing like I did this click action on the element which is having name attribute as first name. What is meant by this name attribute? What is these things? What is the name? What is if you see here? It's an ID here. It's a CSS here. Something else is a what is meant by this name? Yes, these are the things we have to learn for the Selenium web driver automation. Yes, I'll tell you that. This is address. Target is nothing but the address of this particular field. How to find the address? I'll we will discuss later after this after this one. Okay. Then <clears throat> just is clicking on the, this one. Value is nothing but the parameter. If you want to enter anything. If you want to in enter any input from the user side, then we have to pass those values things in a value. For clicking, there is no input parameter. Just, just, just we click on that particular mouse button, right? That's why it's having only click action and it's heading 
sorry is having address where exactly we have to do this action that's it there is no value then after clicking here just i entered my name here so here for entering the name just we need the type that's why say command is type just we are asking seri name to type where to type where to type means address on this particular field we are asking selenium to type something on this particular field okay we are asking selenium to type but how uh, what selenium have to type what selenium need to type we have to send that also right the, what selenium need to type is vivek just i am passing it so vivek if you click here obviously it's these things are reflecting here command is type target equal to target is name equal to first name and value equal to vivek if you want to change the value you can change here yes you can change here next time while you are executing this program now it will enter vivek in a upper case letters yes then after that next action is type next after entering the vivek just i entered the k here right next action also type where i have to type that address will name equal to last name here this field address is name equal to first name and this field address is name equal to last name then what i have to type here k okay then if you see here after entering that i click on the gender radio button so for selecting the radio button yes simply we are clicking on that one the same thing selenium id is recorded is click where is sorry it's click where is click id equal to 6 iphone 0 then i click on the experience then it's showing as it's click action where it clicked id equal to experience minus 4 sorry i experience iphone 4 then after i say i enter the date date here yes if you see here type here just i'm entering the date by typing that's why it's recording this action as a type and id equal to date picker and things are well this is the parameter this is the text i entered that's why it's showing as here one thing these target or these parameters or these commands each and everything is recorded and generated by selenium ide only i didn't add anything here so no no need to worry about this one but how we are why we are learning these things what is the need of finding an element i'll tell you at the end then after date picker just i click on this profession automation test tick checkbox that's why click here equal to yes if you see here yes of now it's using the ide name or something else but if you see here in this particular scenario it's fine cs while selecting the automation tester it's showing a css equal to control group something yes then i clicked on protractor then i then i selected asian from the checkbox that's it yes Just click on id profession my profession iphone one then to id tool iphone one and click on tool iphone two these are the things i clicked here selenium and protractor also that's why showing like that okay so, so these are the things initially i entered here we in we make in small lower case now i'm changing it to upper case i'm going to play it again so now it should enter the data in a caps let's see this is the play button when i am when i am clicking on this particular play button it will play the current text the text which is highlighting it will play the current text yes. if you observe it's open now it's going to maximize this loading successfully Yes. that's it
Is it clear? If you see here, now you can able to see all these lines are in green color means it's executed successfully. Just here, just end of weeks, and just I'm passing something else. Okay, I'm going to execute it again. Now it's supposed to enter, enter this text. Yes, if you observe, it enters the entire test here. Yes, that's it. Yes, text execution speed. By validating these things, we can able to slow down or fast the execution speed also. Just now I'm reducing the speed. Now it's executed in a low speed. If you see here, now I'm going to exit it. Let's going to select Selenium Web Driver. Yes. Yes, if you see here, no, each and every line is executed successfully. So like this, by using the Selenium IDE, we can able to record and play back the test scenarios. T -t test cases. Then, now we are going to discuss what is these things, what is the targets, how Selenium is generating these things. So basically, while we are working with the Selenium, we have to ask Selenium to do, do some particular action on particular area, on particular address. So just we are asking Selenium to type something here, type something here. But at the same time, we have to tell to Selenium where exactly it need to type and what it need to type right so if you, these three things are the input parameters so while we are working with selenium web driver also while we are working with the selenium web driver also we have to pass the address and command from our end so now it's recorded and playback in selenium ide that's why it's recorded the action what we did on that particular website so at that time, I used it to type on this particular username field. That's why it's taking command as a type and it's taking address as a name equal to first name and the param is taking value as it, the thing what I used it to type. Yes, but while we are working with the Selenium web driver, we have to pause, the, pause these parameters for the commands. We have to ask the Selenium to do some type action do some type action at the same time we have to pass the address where exactly selenium have to pass selenium have to do this action and, and, and at the same time if that action requires a parameter we have to pass that parameter also so that means as of now these things are generated by selenium ide but coming days we are going to work with selenium web driver at that time we have to we have to find these locators we have to find we have to write while we are working in the selenium web driver then how to write yes just as of now for today just i will give you the high level introduction about the locators 
how we are going to find the locators then once we can just please practice from your head after after this shopping from tomorrow onwards we are going to we are jumping into the java once java completed then only we are moving to selenium web driver so here our high level here just our high priority to the java only so just we are going to discuss about java from tomorrow it will like nearly it will take nearly more than 20 days once java completed we are going to work with selenium web driver at that time right finding the elements writing the locators are very very important that's why just i'm giving you some high level introduction about the locators how to how we are going to find the locators then please practice please do some practice some homework from your end yes how to find the locators here yes if you see how this is a text field this is a text field i'm asking selenium to do some action here i'm asking selenium to do some action here so for that one for basic thing we have to ask selenium to do this action to do either to do type action or click action or a drag and drop action or something else so before that we have to pass what type of action selenium need to do and where exactly it's need to do so where exactly it's need to do also we have to pass okay then how to pause address of this particular field how to find the address yes if you mouse over on the particular field and right click here we can find inspect whenever you click on this particular inspect mode it will open the developers mode so if you see just click on inspect then it's in, it's it's highlighting the tag which representing this particular field if you mouse over on this particular tag if you see if you observe here that particular field is highlighting yes if you observe that particular field is observing here whenever i'm when i'm mouse overing on this particular tag so this is a tag representing entire this field okay this so we can call it as tag again if you see here you, see, you can find input here let's see. just give a minute okay if you see here this is the tag it's highlighting this this particular tag is highlighting entire this field is highlighting entire this particular field okay enter this particular field and if you observe here each and every tag is having the different attributes is having name attribute style attribute this is a style this is called attribute this is name is an attribute each and every tag might will going to have multiple attributes it's not mandatory some tags will not have going to have any attributes also but this is a tag so most of the tags having multiple attributes so here input is a tag here span is a tag here div is a tag here dv is a tag so these are all the tags so as of now i'm going to work with the input tag yes if you see here why is input tag name is input here just we are going to enter something right it's allowing me you know it's allowing us to enter some input right that's why this tag name is input here yes but it's a uh, these tag names are depends on the front-end developers they may can give any name here so 
this tag name is having multiple attributes is having one name attribute this attribute having this value so we can call this as attribute and this as the corresponding value for this particular attribute and here it's a style attribute and this is the corresponding value for the style attribute and it's having one more attribute type attribute it is having yes this is text is a corresponding value for this particular type attribute yes while we are working with the selenium we can able to find any element location any element address by using these attributes so first attribute is id by using the id attribute or by using the class attribute or name attribute or link text attribute yes so you can able to find your element your tag by using these attributes if you see here this input tag having the in name attribute style attribute and type attribute but if you see if you observe here it's not having the id attribute it's not having the class attribute it's not having the link text attribute but it's having only name attribute that means in these three attributes we can able to find the location by using the selenium by using only name attribute only name attribute is useful for us only only name attribute is useful so by using these two attribute selenium is unable to find the location of this particular element yes then other than these things we have two more things one is xpath another one is css okay so if if but a tag having id or a class or a name or link test we can able to use those scenarios very easily if these things not having these attributes or if these attributes are not unique then we are going to use xpath and css yes in this particular scenario in this particular scenario we having we, have, we are having a name attribute in this particular input tag that's why we can able to find this for find this address by using the name attribute sorry so we can able to find this by using the name attribute so simply that's why if you observe the selenium id recording there also they're using for clicking on the first element or typing something they're using name attribute only name equal to first name directly they are using so first of all while we are going to use this attribute before that we have to uh, make sure this is the unique one unique one is nothing but the, this particular name equal first name attribute should be allocated to this particular input element only if the same attribute with the same name were allocated to multiple attacks then again we are going to face an issue so how we can make sure just click control f on the develop mode it will open one text field here there you can there you can paste the first name here just paste the attribute value name attribute value first name just i pasted here it's showing one match only it's showing one match only it means it's a unique one if it is showing multiple matches like two three four then we are not supposed to use that attribute yes it's showing only one value that's why it's first name we are going to use here that's why they're taking name equal to first name yes then second text field yes i'm mouse ordering and right clicking and inspecting on that element yes if you see here yes input is having a tag name input and it's also having a name attribute but that name attribute value is last name here it's a first name 
no it's the last name yes i'm copying yes it's also having one of one one of one is nothing but only one match so we can be able to use that also that's why they're using name equal to last name then after that i saw just i want to click on any one of this particular radio button just first one i have to find the element locator inspect yes this is a tag even though if you see here this is an input tag it's having a id of 6 iphone 0 so i am going to use this one yes i am going to use this one it's showing 6 iphone 0 so 6 iphone 0 is showing only one matching that one is in this tag if you move soaring on this particular tag if you observe this particular scenario is highlighting here this particular radio button will highlight yes if you observe yes yes like that if you want to click on second radio button female radio button just mouse over there and right click on that particular one yes it's showing name equal to sex showing name equal to sex and it's showing id equal to sex iphone one yes if you see here it's having an id attribute it's having a name attribute and it's having a style attribute, type attribute, while at why value attribute. Why we are using the ID, ID attribute? Why means first 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 point out of these five attributes, we can able to find the address by using selenium with these two attributes only. Selenium suppose these two attributes only out of these five. So these two attributes, these three are out of picture now. Then this, now you consider these two attributes. Why we are using ID attribute only, even it's it's having the name attribute also. So for for the last elements, for the first for the first name field, last name fields, we are using name attribute. But in this particular field, we are moving to ID attribute. Why we are not using the name attribute here? Yes, why you, you know? If you see here, this particular male radio button and female radio button, both the radio buttons having the ID attributes. And the name attributes but if you see here both the name attributes are same both the name attributes are same if you enter if you see if you enter the sex here it's showing out of three matchings total three matchings is there in this particular page yes. So it's having three name as a sex. We are having two things. It is highlighting female, male also. So that's why we are not going to use this one. If you were locator, if you were address field, addressing multiple locations, then obviously children will confuse you. That's why we have to pass unique one. Just like we are passing the address means that's why if you observe these ids is having sex iphone 0 it's having sex iphone 1 so obviously if you observe here this particular ids are unique yes this particular ids are unique but if you see here in this particular scenario it's showing as two matches but it's not an issue why because sex iphone 1 is id here and sex iphone 1 is a fur attribute here but we are going to use ID only. We are going to mention ID equal to right. So that's why it's not an issue. We can able to use sex iPhone one here as an attribute. Then if you want to click on this particular radio button, yes. Yes, if you see here, it's having input tag, it's having ID, name, style, and type and value attributes. So what is the best attribute we are going to use? So which one is having ID and name? We can able to find the we can able to use these two attributes in Selenium. So which one is best one for using? Any guess from anyone? ID yes exactly we are going to use id here why because the name is a duplicate for all the things that's why we are using id here 
yes obviously it is highlighting this particular one only yes if you want to click on 7 then first of all we have to find the address for 7 we have to pass it as iphone 6 yes that's it so one more thing while practicing while writing the locators one while practicing the selenium web browser scripts please try to copy text from the attributes from the dollar promoter and paste don't try to type here exactly why because sometimes we are missing something to type exactly it means we have to type is these attribute values are case sensitive if i'm using capital x here obvious it will fail okay for this particular it's a demo purpose that's why it's taking as a case insensitive but most of the websites are taking it as a case sensitive at the same time sometimes some attributes having spaces at starting or ending if you miss that space it will not show yes that's it then so this is a demo website that's that's why it's not taking these things into the consideration but while we are working with the most of the websites and real-time websites it will not allow us to write attribute values in case insensitivity yes here I have to enter something so for that one just I want to find that value yes here is having ID attribute style attribute and type attribute obviously by using the ID attribute we can able to find that now here I'm going to use ID attribute so that's why they're using ID equal to date picker then next one is CSS they're used As if you see here, just I want to click on manual tester, proficient manual tester and automation tester, both two checkboxes is there. These are checkboxes or radio buttons. Yes, it's checkboxes only. So on which checkbox I want to click. So just first one, if you observe here, it's also having name attributes, it's also having ID attribute, but only name attributes are different. ID attributes both are the same. That's why I'm going to use ID attribute only here. Okay. Sometimes if you observe here, yes, this is, yes, sometimes some tags is not having any ID or name or CSS attributes or those are not unique. Then how we are going to find by going to find those Xbox locations. Yes, if you see here, we can able to use ID or we can able to use a class or we can able to use name or link text. So if these four things are not available or if these four things are not unique, means that same class name or same name attribute or same ID attribute, will assign to multiple tags then obviously we are not going to use that one why because selenium will confuse your passing an address with the same address means if you're passing a name like if you have to find a student with the name called something x if, if number of four number of students is there in a class with the name as x then how you can find the exact student what you want it's not possible if that name is unique then only it can possible so that's why we have to use unique attribute yes if you are not passing unique attribute what will happen in selenium this is also one of the most important most of the question from the students yes sometimes by mistake i send some wrong locator that locator is highlighting or the locator is representing addressing more than one element either it's giving two elements or three elements what will happen yes if you write your locator like that then selenium action what you want to do will be done on 
first element will be done on first coming element if you want to click on an element but the locator what you send is highlighting the three elements it is not going to click on the exact element is click on the first element which comes in first but if you want to click on second or third element obviously your expectation will not reach here if you want to click on a first element then it's okay but if you want to click on second and third elements then expected conditions are different bit from actual things happen as this is scenario yes if these three attributes are not unique or not they then we are going to use xpath or css yes what is these things what is the xpath what is css just i'm giving very 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 high level introduction about xpath just why i'm giving as of now if you find the free time please try to practice these things by opening any website please open any any website and try to find any element that's it just please this this type of practice is enough once if you practice if you are familiar with these things at the time of start as a while we are going to start with the selenium web driver at the time you feel very comfort for the finding the locators then you can able to spend you can able to concentrate on other topics other than these locators just finding the elements also a very very important in selenium web driver in selenium web driver locating web elements is very very important if in some applications in some difficult applications most of the time we are going to spend on finding locators only so that's why please try to do practice and then export and CSS will come into the picture how export is going to work how we are going to write export simple for writing an export we have a syntax first we have to start with double slash okay things we can able to use with single slash only but that that export is different this one is different so in exports we are having two different types one is a relative export is to two different exports what, what is what are these different exports we are going to discuss later just i will give you the high level things for your practice purpose so please start with double slash and here after that we have to use the tag name we have to write the tag name here what is the tag name yes if, if you observe this is the tag name div is the tag name this label is a tag name this input is a tag name this is input is a tag name for this particular tag so means this particular tag is open here and it's closed here it's open here and it's closed here the first string on this particular tag is name that's why all tag names are highlighted in a different color in rose color if you observe here in a different color then each and every tag is having multiple attributes it's having a name attributes a style attribute and value type attributes and each and every attribute have different attribute values so first of all where we were working with the xpath we have to write tag name then after that we have to open a brackets at the rate symbol with attribute the attribute name attribute name equal to in a single code we have to pass attribute value and we have to close the single code and we have to close that's it so what is this attribute name and what this attribute value yes I want to find locator in this particular tag. That's why here this tag name is called input. I'm writing here. I'm writing bottom. Tag name is input. Yes, tag name is input here. So just I want to use as per syntax, we have to use attribute name. Open cursor at the rate here. Now I'm going to use attribute name here the attribute name i want to use is a name name attribute i want to use just so i'm using name 
then as per the syntax equal to in single quote we have to pass a value and close it that in, in equal to in single quote i'm going to use a value yes of that particular attribute yes i'm copying this attribute and close the single quote and close the bracket that's it if you see here yes this is called export if you see here if you click on enter the field is keep on highlighting when we are click on enter you can observe that is it clear is it clear it's like this we can able to use that one Yes, if you want to use for this for this particular mail radio button, simply right click and inspect and see this this is having input tag, it's having ID, it's having sex, iPhone zero. So instead of name attribute, now we are going to use ID attribute. Input the tag name is same, that's why I'm I'm not going to replace anything. And just here, just I want to use ID attribute, and I'm using ID equal to ID equal to in single code. We have to pass the ID value. That's why. Yes, that's it. Whenever I click on this particular enter button, that particular mail radio button is highlighting. Okay, like this. Okay. So one more important thing here, not only ID, not only name, not only class, you can use any attribute here. You can use any attribute. You can use any attribute here. It means if you want to use type value, yes. If you see here, here one value is there. If you want to use value attribute, simply instead of ID, we are going to pass value and value is called having a value value is having a attribute value of female just we have to use we have to pause that female in a single code that's it that's it that's it this is called the x path so by like this we can able to pass yes okay mm, this is the way how we are going to pass x path these are the topics from for today from my end uh, any doors yes any doors from anyone okay thank you can I drop off? Yes. Thank you, Vivek. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vivek. Thank you.